To one cup of whole milk, add a tablespoon of curd or vinegar. Give it a good mix and set aside. To a different bowl, sieve in maida or flour, baking powder, baking soda and a pinch of salt. Give it a good whisk and set aside. To the milk mixture, add vegetable oil, powdered sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla essence. Give it a good stir and add the dry ingredients. Combine the wet and dry ingredients smoothly. Finish off with a spatula. Transfer the cake batter into an 8 inch cake mold lined with parchment paper and dusted with flour and bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 to 50 minutes. Once the cake is cooled completely, level the top and slice the cake into two equal halves. Add a small portion of the icing on the cake board and place the first layer of cake. Soak the cake in some sugar syrup to keep it moisture and add chocolate icing. Here I made chocolate ganache and mixed it with whipping cream to make this chocolate icing. Once smoothened, add the second cake layer. Soak this layer too and I am using white chocolate icing here. I made the icing by mixing white chocolate ganache with whipping cream. Give a crumb coat and refrigerate the cake for at least 15 to 30 minutes. Once cooled, add more icing as desired. I also sprinkled white chocolate shavings to give the cake more texture. To decorate the cake, I melted white chocolate and added streaks of green food color to it. Poured it over a flat surface and cut abstract shapes. These abstract shapes with a marble effect are used to line the sides of the cake. I lined the base of the cake using gold sprinkles, carefully placing them. After adding green star-shaped sprinkles on top, I also added a happy birthday cutout. 